everybody, it's just me LTM. I'm here today with an unboxing that might not look craft related, but it is actually craft and yarn related. I've purchased myself a handheld garment steamer and keep watching to find out how this might be related to yarn. Okay, so I've purchased this uh, just this week, a few days ago, it's on special at the moment from Harvey Norman. Uh, usual price, as is shown on the end here, the usual price is $79.95, but it's currently on special until, the, uh, until the 30th of June. It's on special for $49. This looks like a pretty groovy one. I've never owned one of these before. Kind of folds up. Um, and what does it do? It produces, it produces steam. And you can use steam to take out wrinkles from garments because when you steam them and heat up the fibres in the garment, the fibres relax and the wrinkles kind of relax out and fall out supposedly that's the theory anyway so just giving you a bit of a, a look at all the different things that it says on the box so this says ready to use in 30 seconds so it only takes 30 seconds to heat up compact and foldable so great for traveling and a 100 mil removable water tank so it holds 100 mil it is a 1000 watt power up to 20 grams per minute of continuous steam kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria no ironing board needed safe on all garments so I'm going to open this up and let's have a look at what's inside It's just saying it's uh, been quality tested and there might be water in the tank as a result of quality testing. So a bunch of um, little booklets falling out here, a warranty card. So this one is the user manual and then this one is probably safety things it says please read before use I do tend to be a bit of an instruction reader so I will I will be reading those so here's the power cord power cord is attached okay this whole thing looks like it's going to slide out so let's so here it is out of the box uh, something in there Looks like the water tank, so slightly, slightly transparent, translucent. So 100 mil water tank. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. 20 grams of steam. I wonder if that equates to 20 mils of water. That would mean it's only going to last five minutes. And nothing else in there now. And here is the actual main unit. I think it said it has a 1.8 meter cord so that sounds like a, a good decent length yeah probably 1.8 meter cord and here is the unit so as easy as that just folds out here is the water tank can see this obviously round part here near my thumb obviously fits onto this little bit here there's a rubber seal here which obviously opens up to put the put the water in and then seals it up again so that it doesn't leak Seems like a nice tight fit. Pretty 
pretty simple, just snapped on, easy as. There's one button here at the front, which is the steam button, and an on-off switch down here at the bottom of the handle. So I'm going to fill that up and we'll have a test run and see how it goes. So here we are back again. I have put some water into the uh, water tank and I'm about to plug this in and turn it on at the wall. Turning it on at the wall, I'm then going to turn it on here on the handle. And when I do so, red light has appeared on the top. And I said it's going to take 30 seconds before this will heat up sufficiently to create some steam. So we'll just have to wait a little while. Just note that I did use distilled water in this and this is in fact what the book does recommend as well. The reason why uh, usually they recommend to use Oh, the light just went off on the top. You can see that. So, and now there's a little bit of a, a wisp around the front. Now, I don't want to point this at the camera while I'm doing it. So, just uh, hang on two secs while I sort this out. Okay, I just changed the angle of the camera. Uh, I'm not really sure how to best show this. I'm going to point it away from the camera first because I don't want to ruin my camera. I'm just going to hold the button. It's making a bit of noise. Oh, and there's definitely steam coming out. I don't know if you can see that, but there's quite a lot of steam. Maybe if I point it towards me, you'll see the steam against the darkness of my top. So pushing in there. See that steam? Oops, steamed up my glasses really strongly. So, I don't know if you can see my glasses are thin, but that is um, definitely creating quite a lot of steam. I'm going to turn it off for now. So, how, I hear you ask. Has this got anything to do with knitting and crocheting? Really? Yes, really. I've just finished making a shawl for my mum and I need to block it. And because it's acrylic yarn, I can't do wet blocking. I must do steam blocking. Well, I could do wet blocking, but from all the YouTubes that I have watched and other videos that I've watched, wet blocking doesn't have as good a result on acrylic fibres as steam blocking does. Just because it's a synthetic yarn, um, natural yarns, when they're soaked in water, the fibres all relax, but that's not the case with acrylic because it's plastic, basically. So it's not going to relax. The only thing that's going to make plastic relax is steam. So I could have used my steam iron to do the blocking. However, I don't trust myself and... Um, Again, because acrylic yarn is basically plastic, you can very easily melt your project and ruin it entirely if your iron ever touches the actual fabric. Now, I don't trust myself, so for $50, I thought this is an investment that I am prepared to make. So I'm now going to use this to steam a test swatch that I have made out of the same yarn that my mum's shawl is made of and I'm going to have a go at blocking it. So maybe you'd like to watch the next video that I'm going to uh, put out, which will be me using this garment steamer to block, steam block, a swatch of acrylic yarn. I hope to see you there. Bye.